I'm here with Abdul Karim Sarouj, a native from Iran and one of the most influential liberal Islamic thinkers. Welcome at the German Development Institute. You have joined us today to give a lecture titled Modern Islam and the Modern West. Many in the West would argue that the combination of modern and Islam is a contradiction. So let me ask you directly, is a modern Islam possible? Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me here. And secondly, this is part of my talk, which I will deliver after this, and I will elaborate on the point. But for the time being, I will be very short in my answering your question. When we uh, um, mention the word Islam, um, as I will be, as I said, uh, you know, explaining later, uh, Islam is not a single essence. It has got different interpretation. Therefore, modern Islam means modern interpretation of Islam, modern understanding of Islam. Then there is no contradiction in using the term modern Islam because we are all immersed in an ocean of interpretation. And uh, not only uh, this is true about Islam, but it is also true about Christianity, about Judaism. Christianity is nothing but a series of interpretations of Christianity. Islam, for that matter, is nothing but a series of interpretations of Islam and so on and so forth. Therefore, you can have a classical interpretation of Islam, you can have a modern uh, interpretation, you can have a fundamentalist interpretation, and so on and so forth. A number of interpretations are possible. Therefore, all of them are quite conceivable and discussable, and uh, you can use these terms quite plausibly and without uh, I mean, risking any contradiction. Uh, in the West, we had the Enlightenment. For the German philosopher, Immanuel Kant, the Enlightenment was the emancipation of the human consciousness from an immature state of ignorance. Does the Islamic world need a comparison process as the Western Enlightenment? Well, Enlightenment is a general term, of course. It, has, it can have different concrete cases. Uh, the history of Europe is a unique history. It had its own phenomena, which may not be generalizable to other you know, cultures, to other traditions. Enlightenment in the sense that uh, people enlighten themselves and, you know, become more, let us say, rational, become more reasonable. This is something which is desirable everywhere and, uh, you know, in every culture. But Islamic tradition has got its own uniqueness, its, its own specificities. And therefore, I cannot say, and I, uh, perhaps it is not right to say that the same enlightenment that did happen in the West, in Europe, can happen in the context of Islamic tradition, because there are vast differences between the two. But nevertheless, I would say perhaps part of the enlightenment which happened in Europe was reformation. That, of course, came before Kant, but anyway, it was one of the shareholders, if you like. And reformation, as we will hear later on, is part of the enlightenment which is now happening in the world of Islam. Again, here, reformation is not exactly the same as it happened in the case of the Catholic Church. But nevertheless, reform is a very important idea. It is now underway. And I think that will be the enlightenment of the Islamic world. And uh, where do you see the role of the West in the process of modernizing Islamic societies? Well, modernizing Islamic societies, it's already done. I mean, Islamic societies are modernized. I mean, modernity is different from modernization. Since you are asking me about modernizing, I mean, having computers, having airplanes, having railways, having this, having that, it is already there. And the richer the country, like Saudi Arabia, the better modernized, the fuller modernized. But modernity as a culture, of course, is a different thing. I mean, the modernity means the philosophy of modernity. It means the law, the culture of modernity. That is altogether a different issue. And I think, again, uh, I mean, in Islamic uh, countries, you know, in various degrees, people are now trying Western ideas. As far as I can uh, say is that uh, Muslim societies should have a critical, you know, look at the West. They should be very selective 
vis-à-vis -vis the West, and they should not reject it totally, they should not accept it totally, and they have to be, you know, very keen on, on you know, the critical points. Especially nowadays, as far as I can say, and uh, in, in, in most of the uh, Muslim countries, including Iran, uh, people are uh, keen to know who are the critics in the West of the Western culture in order to learn from them that what things are to be repeated, are to be learned, and what things are to be rejected, are to be remedied. So this is a process which is taking place and hopefully will lead to a very uh, you know, bright uh, outcome. Abdel Karim Sarouj, thank you so much for joining us today here at the German Development Institute Thanks in Thanks so much. Thanks to you.